Okay, so last night I was able to get the uh, original solar panel mount out. The only thing that's left of that is the concrete foundation. My only way, two ways of kind of getting that out of there is either digging each one out, which I don't want to do, or B, try and get this old tractor to start and use the front end loader to lift those out of place. I'm going with that option. This thing hasn't ran in probably six months, probably more close to a year. So let me see if I can get this thing started. I'm gonna have to air up the tires and uh, jump start it, but uh, hopefully this thing still runs. And also this diesel's been in here for as long as we've had it. How long have we had this thing? Two years? Maybe. We haven't put any diesel fuel in it. <laughs> I'm trying to get out the charge, but I think this thing's totally dead. This is now a piece of art on our farm. We could plant some flowers in the bucket. Have a tree grow up through the center of it. Yeah. Whatever, you know that'd be cute. I'll be so shocked if this thing starts. Right. It's probably about time to get a proper tractor. I can't believe we made it this long without one. <laughs> you just get the car and kind of rip me into this a little bit. All right, well that was a bummer with the tractor, but I decided to try one more option before I started digging. So I used a T-post puller and it just came right out of the ground. It was way easier than I expected. Uh, granted, there's no footer on these posts. It was just a concrete sauna tube all the way down. Uh, so yeah, it just pulled straight up and it was quite easy. Very happy, at least this first one was. So uh, let's see how the rest of these go. Got a tiger. Got a Got a memory of love. I'd like to And there you have it. Two down. Lovey, this is really loud. I think you should wear headphones. Okay, but no, seriously. I'm gonna go grab headphones. All right, so uh, today I think I'm finally ready to start pouring the final foundation for this uh, solar panel mount. This was an afterthought, if I have to be 100% honest. All my additional supports are kind of in place. They're just kind of propped up right now. That one didn't want to stay. But yeah, they're all kind of propped up so they're not exactly level and where their final position is going to be. Uh, once I am able to grind the paint off, and then I can start the concrete. I'll slide them down into position and then tack weld them in place to uh, hold their final form while the concrete dries.
Well, I ain't too far into the uh, welding process. I got everything set up and poured my concrete and thought I was gonna start welding and my helmet didn't work. I'm like, I just changed the battery on this thing. Why, why isn't it working? Well, the lens or the shade, there's this like this little uh, light sensor thing right here. Well, apparently if you look close enough in that corner, I guess it got exposed to water, water spilt on it, something. I don't know. It just wants to kick the shade on and off constantly. So that's why it killed the other battery. And when I put a new battery in it, it just constantly was flickering. So what I had to do is go get a new helmet. I can actually see out of this one though. I've been needing to replace the lenses on the old helmet for a while. And uh, really, really incredible. <laughs> but just new clear glass, how much better you can see out of it. The new lens, and that's what I was looking through to weld before. Goodness. Yeah. How could you see anything? It was difficult. <laughs> just imagine what your welds will look like now. They were already beautiful. I can't imagine how much better they're gonna get. Oh my God. Yeah. What a nice before and after. <laughs> Both look at me like, what? <laughs> <laughs> my helmet. I love you. All right, so I guess back to concrete and welding. <laughs> now let's see how far you can get before that sun goes down. happy to say that all of the concrete and welding for the additional supports is all done. All he has to do is prime and paint those. But before we do that, what we're going to do is start working on getting the purlins up for the last set of solar panels. So he's going to have to grind and then weld those on and then we can get those up there and finally be done and move on to something else. How happy are you to almost be done? I am so ready. <laughs> I want to get back to the fun stuff inside. What are you talking about? This is fun. <laughs> I know. It's not fun for me. I can't even imagine how it is for you. With this brutal sun, welding, and Honestly. long sleeves. Honestly, that's literally the only bad part. Oh, falling around those 80 pound bags of concrete aren't any fun, but other than that, I like it. It's like working out all day outside in the heat. <laughs> yeah. That's why you look so good. <laughs> why do you act like it's so weird to just smack your butt? I'm not expecting it. <laughs> to run in place, be chased by what's inside. You guys, I am so happy to say that this project is quickly coming to an end. <laughs> 
All that Spencer has left to do is finish priming and painting and then we can finally get these last solar panels up there. Which hopefully we can do this today because it's very windy today and we have a storm rolling in later. So the panels probably wouldn't be able to stay there this evening. So hopefully we can get that done. Some other stuff going on. The other day, IO was sprayed by skunk which I cannot believe that that happened again. A few years ago, Bear got sprayed and I don't know what Bear did because his was definitely worse. <laughs> Aya's smell has kind of gone away now. Oh, and something else exciting. We got our dining room table in last night. So hopefully once he gets all this primed and painted and while we're waiting on it to dry, he can work on getting that all set up. So while all the primer is drying out there, Spencer's going to start putting together our table, which I am just so excited about. It's made out of reclaimed wood, and it's just, it's gonna be so pretty in here, and definitely beat using the CRV table. <laughs> One thing about this area though, I don't know if you can really see, there are fingerprints and handprints everywhere. <laughs> it needs to all be touched up, but we'll do that later. Who do you think did this, Spencer? Empress? Yeah, was it you? Uh, maybe. <laughs> the funny thing too is they all go up to like this level. <laughs> So the table looks really good, but we did run into one issue. With the legs, with the uh, built-in bench, we got square legs that follow pretty much the dimension of the table. And then you got the square of the bench. So there's no room for your legs to pass by whenever <laughs> you're trying to scoot down. Didn't think about that. So a minor hiccup, but it should be fine because we're pretty sure that where we got it from, they offer other legs that you can get for the table. So it should be fine, but this will work for now. <laughs> I think today is going to be the day. No, actually, in fact, today is going to be the day where we finish the solar. <laughs> These bottom panels are going up. Everything's primed, painted, and looks good. I, I don't have anywhere to touch up, so they're getting installed today. That shouldn't be very long, and then I can wire them up, and hopefully by the midday, we can be making twice as much power. <laughs> this could be our thumbnail. <laughs>
So yesterday I was able to get all the panels up and kind of get them all roughly wired up. I still have to run the actual wires. I got six in series, so I got to run uh, positive and negative to the combiner box on each run. But I figure I would touch on how this is all kind of wired because it's a little bit different than it was before. Before we just had 12 panels, three in series, four in parallel. What I'm doing now is just running a higher voltage. So I'm gonna have six and six in series. So I'll only have two in parallel for each charge controller. These 12 will be wired together and then those 12 back here will be wired together. The reason why I'm doing that is just because when the sun rises and sets, I get a little bit more power. Like take for instance for in the morning, when the sun rises and it's still like shading half the array, I can at least be making the most amount of power out of these 12 instead of having the, the top row wired together. Because say these six were still in the shade, but these six were not, and all 12 were wired together. These six over here would drag down the output of these to equalize so what I'm doing is just having the most amount of panels in most narrow setup so I should get a slight advantage at least in the morning and evenings when it comes to power production I just got to finish wiring that and then backfill these holes and I should be ready to go and totally done with this project and we'll have to show you the movement of the array I have not moved it yet since we've uh, installed all the panels so I guess you'll find out in real time. So Spencer got the first half of that bottom row of the panels all wired, but it started raining and he's ran out of PV wire. So we have more ordered and on its way. But in the meantime, what we're going to do is work on some stuff in the kitchen. We got our trash can just delivered today. Spencer is going to work on installing a shelf and install all the hardware on our cabinet. 